Hi guys. So today I figured I'd bring you guys a lot closer and intimate as we make our La Nuit Activated Charcoal Soap. Um, I've already pre-dispersed my oils in here. I have olive oil, I have coconut oil, and avocado oil already in here with some shea butter. Um, I also have my lye water solution, but before I do that, I'm going to add my kaolin clay in my colloidal oats. I put that in all of my soaps. The kaolin clay is very good for the skin, so is the oatmeal. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and add that in there first. Um, I'm going to mix it in as well so that it blends in with the oils before I put in my lye water solution. All right, so I'm just gonna capture that. Just wanna make sure that it's well incorporated into the oils. I get rid of all of my bubbles before I add my lye water solution. The next thing I'm gonna be doing um, is adding my I'll, um, activated char charcoal. I've already pre-dispersed it in oil. If you, I don't know if you guys have ever worked with activated charcoal before, but it gets everywhere. So if I just dump it in the oils and blend, it would be activated charcoal everywhere. So I, what I do is I pour my desired um, amount in there and I just put some oil with it so that once I pour it in, it won't splash everywhere. It's just the smartest thing to do. But in here is just activated charcoal powder and oil. So I'm just gonna dump all of it in there because we want that to detox your skin. I'm gonna add all of it in there and then we're gonna give it a little bit of a blend again. Oh boy, I'm so excited to tell you guys the benefits of activated charcoal. But you guys know I do that when I post because if I were to continue to talk and make soap, it's gonna be a disaster. So let's blend this sucker in. Look at all that bubbles I put in there. Oh my God. I always try to avoid bubbles. But Jano, I can't avoid them. Before, in order to avoid the bubbles inside of your soap, you just want to tap down your stick blender to get the air pocket out of the shaft. See? Like so. All right. Now we're going to add our lye water solution into our oils. And then let the magic begin. So I'm going to just tap, spin around, and let's blend. All right. I'm trying to just reach emulsification, which I might already be there. So let's be careful. And now I'm gonna add in my fragrance oil. I have a nice um, essential oil blend here that I think will be perfect for the activated charcoal. So we're just gonna dump that in. It smells so good. Let me get the spatula and scrape it out because I want every last bit in the soap like we not buying this for no reason this has to get on our skin like you think you're done but then no there's still a whole lot in there so scrapey scrapey okay i'm also gonna do the same with the rest of the charcoal that's in here i'm actually gonna add some soap in here 
whip it about, whip it about, grab my spatula and scrape every single lap. We not leaving nothing in here, all right? Nothing is getting left behind. We pay for this, we're gonna use it. Cause if not, it just ends up down my sink and ain't nobody got time for that. All right, we're gonna mix and blend. Activated charcoal is pretty simple to make because it's one color. We're not adding any extra majig in here. Just the activated charcoal because that's going to detoxify our skin. It's an anti-inflammatory. And the scent is to die for. All right, I'm just making sure that we're at least at a light tray so that once I pour it into the mold, she'll be good to go. This is so satisfying. Can I tell you? Let's pull out our mold. I am tempted to give her a little bit more of a blitz because I want to reach a trace. Right now we're at a pretty light trace. And I feel like we need to get a little thicker than that before we pour her because I want to be able to texture the soap right away. Burp it again. All right, I think we're at a nice trace. Perfect. This is all I needed. Perfect, perfect. You can tell when your soap is at a trace when you pick up your stick blender and there's residue, like there's a line of soap that stays on the top. That's when you know your soap has reached a trace. Not emulsification, but a trace. All right. Let's pour her in. So satisfying. All right, and as per usual, I'm gonna scrape out this container to the best of my ability. We ain't playing no games, okay? We're not leaving any soap behind. Oh, this smell is so good. Y'all gonna thank me for these fragrances that I'm giving y'all. Like I'm picking out some beautiful fragrances and I'm blending them. See, now that we have a nice thick trace, I'm gonna be able to texture her right away. Let me just tap this down, amends for the noise, but I have to tap it down. So I have my handy dandy spoon and we're gonna try. I think she's ready to be textured. I want something really, nothing perfect, but like real swirly. So that when I cut it, it looks good. I wanna mound it up a little bit. So first let me mound it up and then I'll make it look good.
Am I in your way? I'm promising you guys right now, I'm not going to edit this. I'm just going to post this however it sounds, however it looks, because your girl is, that's, that's not my forte, baby. That is not my forte. Texturing and editing don't come naturally to your girl. She got other skills, though. We ain't going to talk about that. <laughs> we ain't going to talk about that. See, this look bad. This look terrible. Oh my God, this looks terrible. I'm trying, y'all. Because I really want it mounded up in the middle. Like this. But then I want the top to be swirly oh my god you know what <laughs> i'm done she's done this is it this is it we're done I, I, we're done we're done this is it i can't can't be bothered bye <laughs> hello guys so we are back for the cut um so we have our la nuit activated charcoal soap and our men's denim soap but i could already see i'm going to have to remake both of these soaps because Man, 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 man. I totally messed up on the color of these soaps, but we're just gonna roll with it. But I know in the future, for the future design, that I wanna make a few changes to the colors. Um, I have my little cheese cutter here, cause you know, we do not have a multi-bar cutter. We're just gonna roll with what we have. It has been 18 hours. I did not wait the full 24 hours. It has only been 18 hours. But here we have it. The activated charcoal La Nuit soap. Smells fantastic. Ugh. I'm just gonna put her on her side for the cut. There's one key element that I forgot to grab. So let me get that and I'll be right back. Okay, again, because I do not have a multi-bar cutter, I measure these in one inches so that everyone gets the same size bar. I measure these in one inches and I just cut. This is just a potato peeler, nothing too crazy. I use this to bevel the soap, so I do not use it in food. It is strictly for soap and I use it to bevel the bars. So like I said, I'm just measuring out one inch bars to make sure that they all turn out to be the same size until one good old day when I can get a multi-bar cutter. So there's nothing special on the inside of an activated charcoal bar. So there's not much to see here, but I'm gonna cut it anyway. Making sure we're straight. I put a little pressure cause it tends to move during the cut. I put a little pressure and then we cut. Like I said, nothing to see here. Apply some pressure and cut. I'm not too satisfied with the color of the bar, but what I will say, I am very impressed with the scent of the bar. The scent on this bad boy is phenomenal. Right. 
regular bar. But when I tell you this is going to be detoxifying, it's going to change your shower experience. And I cannot wait for you guys to tell me um, what your shower experience is with this scent and how it will make your skin feel. So I'm just going to continue to cut this bar all the way through. And then we're going to move on to the exciting bar, which is going to be the next video is our denim men's soap. So that's what we're going to be cutting after this activated charcoal soap. I wanted more of a pow in the black. So I was a little torn between getting a nice opaque black color and the staining power. Like if you're using a white rag and you're using a pitch black, fully loaded activated charcoal soap, what that would do. It looks like we have a little air pocket right there, but no biggie. It just doesn't make for a pleasing bar, but it's still functioning bar. So yeah, I, I was a little torn. Should I give them black, black soap um, to look nice? Or, or would it stain the tub? Would it stain the rag? That's the stuff that I was a little bit uncertain about. So I wasn't too sure of which, which route to go down, but I think... When I remake this soap, I'm gonna go a little bit darker because right now it just looks like a gray soap. I don't like that. I have a problem with that. I do not like that. So I think I want a darker bar. I think I want a, a black, black, opaque bar. And of course, these are gonna be ready for use or for sale within the next four weeks because our bars sit for four to six weeks so that you get the full performance out of it. I mean lather, I mean the hardness of the bar. It makes for a longer lasting bar when you allow your soap to sit and cure so that it evaporates all of the water in there. I wonder why I have this air pocket there. I bet you it's because I was stuck trying to texture knowing that I'm no good at it. Well, if you guys made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like, you comment, and subscribe. That will tell me that I need to record more videos. It tells me that you guys like watching soap making videos and that I, I should record some more. I will see you guys on the next one. Let's see if I could insert some pictures here for you guys. Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. All right, guys.